And I don't know where you've been, but you're going to respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Kylie Connors is suing Anna Williams in the amount of $465. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may be seated. Ms. Connors claims her tip money was chewed up by her roommate's unruly dog and says Ms. Williams needs to pay for the animal's bad behavior. State your name? Kylie Connors, Your Honor. Ma'am? Anna Williams. All right, and you are suing your former roommate for $465, alleging she owes this money um, regarding damage done to your property? Correct. Start with you. I am a bartender by trade. I lived with Anna Williams previously, and I usually take home cash tips at the end of every night. Her dog went after the duffel bag that I had my cash tips in. You don't uh, be nipping at work, do you? Nipping, sir? Yeah, take a nip. All right, fine. I'm trying to give you the benefit of just a nip. Do you drink at work? Do you get drunk at work? I do drink at work sometimes, sir. I am a Okay. Partner. Yes. All right. But go ahead. Please forgive me. Go right ahead. We do get an amount of credit card tips, and then we get a chunk of cash tips that we take home at, a, at the end of every night. Okay. Do you want to tell me about your friendship with the uh, plaintiff? Yeah, we met through a mutual friend um, mm -hmm. back in March, and I, we were both looking for roommates, and they thought that we would be a good fit together. And, you know, for the first month... You must not work at the bar. No. You got a very different presentation. How long did, after meeting each other did you decide to become roommates? It was about like after the first month and it was going great. But after a month of living together, there were a lot of issues uh, with her being irresponsible, putting my dog in danger, uh, leaving her stuff everywhere. And the first month it was great. She's I, just nasty. At first she wasn't, um, then and she then starting nasty. the bar job, she got very lazy and irresponsible, was always dropping and throwing her stuff, leaving food out, um, which my dog... Just from working at a bar? Mm -hmm. Or drinking at the same bar, using too much of her own product? That's what you yes. sound like you're suggesting. I just started noticing that she would come home late. I would wake up by her banging around the kitchen, slurring, being drunk. Um, okay, that's sleep. what I'm asking you. You yes. witness her being intoxicated? Yes. Regularly? Very regularly. Okay. Ma'am, you, you have an issue there? You need the dressing? I think she might be exaggerating a little bit about the consistency of this happening, but I do... How often do you say? You say what? Half the time she's drunk? Yes. More than half the time. Especially when coming home from shift, um, she'll have gone out after right. work. Are you drunk 50% of the time? No, sir. How, what percent? I would say maybe a quarter of the time. 25% of the time you're drunk. I have drank. No, we, I, you, I was very clear. I'm asking you about drunk. And you heard what she said, half, and that's when I ask. Is it, do you, are you drunk half the time? And your answer was no, 25%. Correct. So you need help. If you can, if 25% of your life is spent getting drunk, or when, when you are, yeah, 25% of your time is getting drunk, you need help. You need help. Yeah. And the, you have that rule, whatever they say, you multiply it. That's a good point. That's what I did with you when y'all used to lie as kids. So you're absolutely right. <laughs> And see, I knew what I was talking about when I saw your presentation. This isn't my first rodeo. You need help, you think? With your drinking potentially, problem? Potentially, I do need help. Okay, good. And we're, I'll let you discuss that with my staff. Tell me about the dog uh, you're suing for. What the dog, uh, what happened with this dog? 
The dog, um, in the beginning, there was no issue. Like when I moved in, I knew that she had a dog and I love dogs. I've had many in my life. Uh, there was no prior knowledge that the dog would be so aggressive in a lot of ways. I was under the impression that it was a very mild-mannered animal. But Where did you get that impression? From Anna. How did she give you that impression? She Just told from, you that? Did she yeah, tell you? Yeah, she told me. She would show me photos or videos okay, well, of the dog. Okay, well, that's not an impression. That's something she told you. She told me that the dog was, be, would fine, was fine. Right. But shortly after living together, the dog urinated on a rug in my room, <laughs> chewed up my shoes. It would constantly sniff around, trying to come after things that I had in my bag. Did you have weed in there? No, I do not smoke. Why the dog going around sniffing your bag? Does I dog have sniff no your idea. bag? No, because I don't have Do dog sniff your friends' bags? You the only bag the dog sniff. What you got in there? When you work in a restaurant, sir, your bag, everything, your clothes, everything smells like food. But you don't go no further than the bar. Sorry? You don't go my... any further than the bar. Okay. <laughs> your Honor, respectfully, my bar is in a restaurant. All right. Actually, I had an incident um, one month before this incident where she left a thing of chicken wings on the coffee table, which my dog then got into. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Kylie Connors, who is suing Anna Williams for lost wages. You did not know that the ball, that the dog may have a tendency of what? Of either chewing things apart, stealing food, anything like that. Okay, so what happened to cause you to sue today? Uh, I came home after a long shift one night. I get home around 3 a.m. I dropped my duffel bag where I usually do, next to the door, next to the front door where the keys go and where we put our shoes. The dog had never attacked anything in my bag when the bag had been there prior. How long had you been living there at this point? I had been living there probably four months. Four months, okay. Correct. Dog hadn't done anything in those four months. This instance he did what, or she? The dog ripped apart, the, the bag was completely zipped. The dog ripped apart the entire bag and chewed up not only the food in the bag, but the money that was in the bag. What type of dog was this? Um, she's a mutt, a rescue. So we're mixed not really what? sure what. Mutts what? mean they're mixed with a bunch of stuff. Mixed with a lot of stuff. Do you have any idea what type of mixtures? Does it resemble any dog more so, any dog breed more so than others? Um, For example, is the face is more similar to a German Shepherd, or is the face more similar to a Chihuahua? Uh, more similar to like a, a yellow lab beagle kind of. Okay. I have That's, a picture. Yeah, let me see the picture. Of yes, course. please. Because the question is, should you have had common sense enough to know? that a dog that looks like this may have uh, being, may be inclined to, yeah, to feel that they can go in and rip a bag up and get the food that's inside. And yes, this dog does look like that. He looks shady right now. <laughs> He's looking at you shady. He looking like he about to steal something or tear something apart any minute. Why I you hand me this thing? Sweet. This is incriminating. <laughs> Your dog gonna be mad at you. You present him in an incriminating way. Go ahead, all right, so you found that to be the case, and so what did you do afterwards? You went to the defendant, you went to I did. Ms. Williams? I, mm -hmm. I called, because we have opposing schedules, I called her during the day while she was at work. I was very upset, and I expressed what had happened. I wanted her to pay me back, because when you make tips working in a bar, that's the bulk of your income. And it would have gone into so the me. dog ate the money. Correct. I mean, the dog ripped apart the money completely. Or tore it up. Correct. So it would have cut into me even paying our mutual Rent. bill. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, Your Honor, 
a situation had happened prior where I left some chicken wings <coughs> out that I should not have on the counter in the kitchen, which the dog did get after, and she did have to take the dog to the vet. But those chicken wings were right next to papers, anything that would have been seemingly attacked as well and chewed apart, and nothing happened at that time. So it just seemed kind of overly... But you said you had food in this bag. <clears throat> right. But I'm saying that they, the money The last was... time the dog went after it because he smelled chicken bones. Right. And ripped nothing else up. Right. This time he smelled food that you had laid on the floor again, already knowing that the dog goes after food when it's laying around. Right. You lay it on the floor and you create the opportunity for the dog to, to destroy your things as the dog had done previously when you left food out. Right. I'm just saying that it was unexpected because the money, the cash, was in a completely different compartment than the food. Ma'am, I promise you the dog wasn't looking specifically for the cash. Right. The dog was ripping the bag apart until the dog found the food or could get to the food and that the, it was collateral damage that your money was torn apart. But you asked her for how much and what was her response? I asked her for $465, mm -hmm. which I do have evidence, the printout here, of exactly how much I and made. And what was her response? Home. Her response was absolutely not, that it was not her fault, what the dog had done, that I should have known better than to leave food in my bag that I left on the floor. Let me hear from you. Uh, yeah, there is a lot that she's leaving out. Um, I have never had any issues with my dog. Um, she may look suspicious in this photo, but she is really sweet. And the only reason she is going after her bag at all was because of the food in the bag. Um, and she knows the dog <laughs> tries like, to get the food any time he can. Yeah, even the best trained dog isn't going to leave food uh, alone that's within reach. And actually, I had an incident um, one month before this incident where she left a thing of chicken wings on the coffee table, which my dog then got into. Coming up. The issue started happening when she would come home drunk and throw her things around the living room, leave out food, leave out items. Okay, and you're suggesting this, this perhaps was one. This is an additional element you're bringing up, that she may have been intoxicated as she frequently is. Yes. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Kylie Connors, who is suing Anna Williams for lost wages. How much money did you have inside? In the bag? Mm hmm $465 Okay, cash. so you don't <laughs> want uh, payment for him ripping the bag up. No. Okay, so if he had just ripped the bag up, you'd have understood because you knew you had done wrong. Yes. Well, you and can't help it because it had money in it. As you just said, you would understand the dog breaking into the bag and destroying it to get to food. You would understand that. So now you have to understand that in route to breaking into that bag, getting the food, he also damaged that money. Damaged everything that was in there. What else was in there? Clothes. Yeah, you're not suing for the clothes. So that's, that's almost suggesting that the bag and the clothes aren't important and had the dog gone in to get the food and only damaged the, the bag and the clothes, it would be all right. If it's all right for one, it got to be uh, right for the other. So if it's all right for you, for the dog to have destroyed the bag, it has to be all right for you, for the dog to have also destroyed the money. The dog can't distinguish between what's valuable in that bag and what's not. The dog can't say, hmm, that's $50, $400, I ain't gonna mess with that. I'm gonna just get this sweater. This sweater only costs $50. So I'll destroy the sweater, but I'm gonna leave that $400 over there. And what else, this bag is only $60, yeah, I'll destroy that too. 
coming up. I've asked you a million times not to leave things out for the dog. You are either drunk or have a memory problem. Please get yourself together. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Kylie Connors, who is suing Anna Williams for lost wages. Where does the dog usually roam around? Um, I normally keep her in my room. Uh, at night, she sleeps with me. And then during the day, I let her roam around the living room and in my room. Um, I have her <coughs> shut her door so that my dog cannot access that. Yeah, so I normally come home during my lunch breaks and I will let my dog out to go to the bathroom and then head back to work. Um, but she knows and has known that my dog uh, will be in the living room and in my bedroom. And she stated that she was completely fine with it. The issue started happening when she would come home drunk and throw her things around the living room, leave out food, leave out items. Okay, and you're suggesting <laughs> this, this perhaps was one. This is an additional yes. element you're bringing up, that she may have been intoxicated as she frequently is. Yes. So in your good mind, perhaps you wouldn't have thrown it on the floor. But in... An altered state of mind, you do that. Yes, and I have text messages with her of me calling her out for constantly leaving her stuff. I would tell her to put Let's it up. Let's see that, please, Amir. <laughs> All right. Ma'am, I'm doing whatever I can to put a little liability on her. I was going to call this contributory negligence for her being negligent and uh, keeping her dog in the wrong spots and in this case it got out of the room I would have said she con contributed to that negligence because her dog got out of the room but you know that a dog floated around everywhere so how will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Can't find any liability on her yet. I've asked you a million times not to leave things out for the dog. You are either drunk or have a memory problem. Please get yourself together. That's true, ma'am. She told you two months before the incident, uh, she's told you a million times not to leave things out for the dog. She has, Your Honor. All right. Your claim is dismissed, ma'am. She warned you. You did it anyway. And it happened primarily when you were intoxicated, it appears, or you got a bad memory problem. They go together. If you have a drinking problem, that does affect the memory. So I'm going to dismiss your claim. You were warned. You did it anyway. The good news is we're going to get you some help. And so that 465 that you wanted is going to be like we're giving you $5,000 because that's what it costs us when we pay and sponsor for treatment. It'll be about $5,000 that the court will pay. So good luck to you and your treatment. I'm more interested in that, but I must dismiss this case. Have a good day. All rise. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. I hate that it had to come to this, but I'm really happy that you're going to be getting help. I appreciate the sentiment, even though I don't know how genuine it truly is. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.